Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox we're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on our screen right now. And today we're going to go over Hogganosh again. Also, I've already done a video on Hogganosh, but that was for singles. This one, however, is a more doubles and 2v2 oriented set, and we're going to go over it. So, also, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And with that being said, let's hop to the video then. Okay, then, so let's go over the Hogganosh then and what I'm going to be using as. So, basically, in Pokemon, I never like really did doubles and 2v2s that much, and whenever I did do them, I definitely didn't use follow me so I'm actually like this is like very new concept to me bit is like very similar to like follow me so basically Hogganosh's role for this specific set for doubles is to basically just be a tank and just absorb all of the hits that are being thrown at your potential teammates and then if you click bait you take all the damage and then hopefully your teammate can set up and just like sweep them basically so for the Hogganosh being a pure fire type is pretty decent honestly I mean defensive less a pretty good typing it can resist a lot of things although it is weak to earth which is really bad because if you're doing a lot of doubles you're gonna find a lot of earthquakes so hopefully you uh don't see too many of those and for the personality we're running robust clever basically just making it like as tanky as possible and then for the dropping personality you can either do very clumsy uh, or very sluggish. I went for very sluggish because I have like Wackalack and stuff that I can use for Bane of Haste, so there's like, it's up to you, but if you do want very sluggish, you do need like 0 or 1 UPs in speed, which is a little bit annoying, so it's an extra like step, but if you don't really care about Bane of Haste, you could just drop um, the range tech instead, because you're not really going to be using it anywhere. Item is Health Amulet, just trying to like prolong our life on Hogganosh, just so we can click as many baits as we can. For the ability, we're running the Secret Build, which is Sweet Touch, which is very handy if you're clicking baits, because if Everyone on the field, uh, well, if all of the opponents are focused on Hogganosh and they're hitting, just hitting Hogganosh, if they're hitting you with a contact-based moves, they might get locked into that move. So let's say, for example, oh, they click slap down. Well, the first one's going to do a lot of damage, but then if they get, uh, if the ability activates and then they're trapped into slap down, well, the next slap down isn't going to do as much damage anymore because you've already lost your item, so it's actually like a really handy uh, ability, especially if you're using this one for doubles. But for the moves, we got Bait, Dodge, and Rejuvenate. These are basically our, our three main moves, honestly, like, and we do have Fairy Fondant just as like a move in case, just in case we need to like do damage, or if we do get like the Bane of Haste up, we could like actually like threaten some things and boost our defense even more. So it's really up to you, but we also been clicking Bait, and if we're gonna like be clicking Earthquake potentially on something like a Volcal Lower, we have got like a Dodge, and Rejuvenate just like, again, if we have a chance, we can like just try and basically like heal ourselves to prolong our Hogganosh's life. And then for the TPs, it's honestly like pretty standard, I mean, I, I wasn't really too sure how to do it, so I had a little bit of help, but, because, like I said, I never, like, did, I never, like, done, like, follow me in, like, Pokemon, so I wasn't really too sure, like, hey, do you, like, want to, like, just make one defense really good, or do you just want to, like, make it as beefy across the board as possible? So, basically, we went for 200 defense and range, de melee defense and defense, just basically bulking up our defense as high as possible. Uh, 44 energy allows you to go for, like, two rejuvenates, like, three base and a dodge. I mean, it's not like really necessary, uh, and then we just put the rest into the health, and it's like, it's just a standard one. Also, I have zero speed because I am running a uh, Bane of Haste one, in case I want to run that. So yeah, let's basically hog on slow, hop into the battles and see how well it can actually perform. Okay then, hopping into the first battle, it's actually pretty unfortunate right now, there's actually a glitch in the game. So if I like, get really lucky and my Hogganosh dies, I'm like, okay, I'll just fall for it, hop into a next battle, I got killed way too quickly, can't really use it in the video. So I fall for it, and then the music just, for some reason, like, mutes itself, so now I gotta like, server hop after every time I fail a battle, basically, which is really annoying, so, um, interesting. I see, um... Volklo could have Earthquake. Nothing else has like an Earthquake move, so we might be good just to lead off with this, so we'll see how well that goes. Other than that, um, I'm gonna bring these two just like try and fall back onto if I need Bane of Haste, and other than that, I think I might bring the Mutagon for this one, I think. Looks like, like a pretty good choice. Um, oh, actually the Ursol Terrifying could be really annoying, but we'll try this okay, so... Right now, Hogganosh is like... It's I feel like it's pretty, like, underwhelming for... Oh, actually, I'm just gonna go for Energy Surge, just get some damage on these two. Probably not gonna one-shot them. I'm I might one-shot the Zulong, but definitely not gonna one-shot the Ursa, I don't think. But definitely gonna go for the bits, um, and just gonna click Energy Surge and try to do some damage. So basically, Hogs is, like, kind of underwhelming for singles. The doubles, though, since it's the only Lumin with bait right now, and it's, like, pretty pretty bulky and the fire, fire typing has pretty good defensive is a pretty good defensive stat so Hogganosh like is pretty good so I've got rejuvenate bait dodge and like just fire fondant like basically do some damage 
in case I kind of like need help for something. But the plan is basically spam baits. Just spam. It's not like a dodge. You can't like you, you can't like use baits. Then you have to use something else. Then you can use baits again. You can click bait every turn. Also, I like how the uh, attack animation still hit, goes for the Ikazune, even though it doesn't lower its stats. But hey, I'll, I'll take it, man. Uh, so yes, it's like pretty interesting. So basically, what I'm gonna try and do, because like I said, pro I might probably mention the intro. I never really like did like follow me in Pokemon. I never really, like did doubles, like two v two battles that much, especially follow me. Um, so this is actually the first time I'm really like doing something like this. Although what I'm gonna try and do okay is spam bait on my Hoganosh. Also, they swapped out on both of their so. I basically just got a free turn and just free damage, which, hey, I'll glad the take. Um, here then, I'm gonna go for the bait again because, I mean, wait, did I even, no, I, I didn't actually use any energy because I have energy surge. I forgot energy surge does that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done doubles, but yeah. Basically, spam, spam bait on my Hoganosh, and I get a, sp I get a spam magnify on my, um, my Ikazune, which is very nice. So, I actually will go for the, um, oh, actually, is it worth it? Revenai is not going to go for a Fire-type move, so I, f I feel like Hoganoff can definitely tank one move, potentially. So, we'll, we'll go for a, for a Magnify again, I think. Although, Clay Slap is going to do a decent amount, but I'm going to try and get the, the Magnify off, we'll see how well this goes. Um, where the Revenai ate that- oh, I actually clicked Final Ruse, okay, that's actually really annoying, but hey, glad I didn't attack it this turn, right? Clay Slap, yeah, that's fine. I, I, they can't- they, they have to, like, both attack me if they want my Hoganoff to go down. And because um, Revenant outspeeds my Ikazune, I can just click any surgery, that should be fine. So, just gonna just go for that again, uh, because we don't wanna, we don't want our Ikazune to go down. So, we're just gonna click a bit, and then this time we'll click um, Energy Surge again, which, if our Hoganos lives, we get energy back, which means we can click Rejuvenate if we don't get targeted. So, I mean, hey, Hoganos actually look, doesn't look that bad to say that I've never, like, really done doubles. It looks pretty promising, like I said, Fire is, like, a pretty good. Like, especially a solo type fire is like pretty good defensively, it has all, quite a few resistances. The biggest issue really is that there are in, in doubles, if I mean, also I'm battling people like without really telling them I'm doing double battles, so the, their team isn't really like oriented towards double battles. Um, that's actually doesn't really do anything. I might live again, I do live again, nice. Um, so basically, the entire idea is like, oh, if they have earthquake. While I'm using Hogosh and Ikazune, could go horribly wrong. But if I don't have Earthquake, I'm looking pretty good. Anyway, got both of down. So Hogosh done pretty good job. Okay, we got set up on Ikazune. That I did bring. I wanted to bring um, the Munch Wheel because then I can just like rev up and then bulk up spam as well. I decided not to bring Munch Wheel because I have a lot of things weak to Earth. So instead, I brought my um, Avatross, an old. It's a super old Avatross. That's like very brawny. I wouldn't really recommend it that much. Okay, terrifying again, that's fine. Okay, Len. Um, our biggest issue is that I'm definitely going to get one... My whole gosh can't... Is, is going to die to one of these, so the other one should be able to hit my Ikazune, but I don't think... Well, actually... No, I think actually I'm fine here. I think um, I just KO them all, because the Zulong should go first, unless they click a priority move. I can definitely live a hit low from Zulong on my Ikazune, I don't think I live a slap down from your soul, but I'll speed it anyway, so we can just click energy surge here, and we should just KO both of them, because they're both weak to it, so it's actually going really, really well. Yeah, elemental burst, I got that right. I mean, Hoganosh is going to faint, unfortunately, which means my um, Ikazune gets to go first, and should just one-shot the uh, your soul, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it just lived! No, I got actually critical hit as well. I'll say really bulky your soul. That's not too bad though. I'll definitely uh, take that and slap down right. Yeah. Okay. N now I might go down. Okay. Actually, never never mind. I don't. But I am gonna get. Uh, I am oh, actually. I probably should be running power focus on this one. If I had a power focus, that definitely would have killed it. Okay, Len. Well, this time we're gonna go into. Um, I want to say a wakalaka because I have to go for our ikazune. They have to priority our ikazune, so I think this will work. I'm gonna go to wakalaka because I can go for the bane of his. And it's actually Mocho, which uh, actually isn't exactly, exactly like great for me right now, but that's fine. We're just gonna go for the, um, I guess, do I really need to for Bainapace? I guess I might as well, right? I might as well. And then we can just go for the um, Energy Surge. Actually, it's probably best if I double tag. yeah, I think it's actually better if I do this. I should probably double target, I'm just gonna go for the Nature's Force, why not? 
I'm gonna double target because um, if the Yusuo kills my Kazune, the Yusuo is just gonna still live. So yeah, exactly. So I would, and the Mojo can't one shot my Wakalaka. I'm pretty sure. I mean, is oh, actually goes for the setup. Okay, that's actually fine then. So yeah, we should be good here then. Just like hail the Yusuo. And now it's just like a 1v3 basically, which uh, I think we're good. And we have Mute Gun as well, which um, for the next battle, I'm going to try and actually do a um, Mute Gun instead of the Ikazuna because we have got Telekinetic Sweep. And also, the, they're both not weak to Earth, which also it would be nice. Not really going to go for the, We could go for the Bane Face actually because it is super quick, but I don't know if it's really worth it. I think I just, I would, I think I'd just rather hit it. I mean, they can't one-shot my um, Mute Gun anyway, so just going to do this and hopefully be good. Yeah, I'm even a plus one Wakalaka, I can still tank that, which is nice. But yeah, I actually haven't really used a Wakalaka for a long time, but for doubles, I mean, it's 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 basically my only, like, loom that has been of haste, and it's pretty offensive as well, for mine at least. But yeah, gonna hop into another one, but back in a second, then. Okay, then, hopping to another battle, then. So this time, I'm gonna try the Mutagon. It doesn't look like, it, honestly, it doesn't really look like the best team, because I do see the Vesper Arch, so I gotta be very careful. Also, I see a, I see a couple things. Honestly, it's not really the best to use Mutagon for this specific one, but uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Also, I haven't done a Mutagon video yet. I am gonna go over the Quick Punch one. I don't have it on this one, though, yet. Other than that, uh, actually... This might be a better Volklo one, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be a better Volklo one than Mutagun. Although I will bring it just in case I, I die to Earthquake, potentially. And then we'll just bring the uh, the same two as before, and I think that should be good. Yeah, I think I want to go for this one. And if I actually really, really want to, I could just Savage Greed my, uh, my, my teammate, although I am very quick, so that's actually a terrible idea. So here, we can actually go for the bait. Um, two dark types. No, I'm glad I actually didn't lead with Mewagun. That that would have been really bad. Okay, then. I could actually like technically savage give my team my teammate and I like, get easy boost, but because Volcor is so quick, I'm just gonna get completely destroyed. So not exactly the greatest idea. So we'll just go for the the Braum boost. I have a feeling that he might swap out the Vesper R to actually no, he stays in. Let me guess, just two time slap downs, maybe just two two slap down. No, nope, Megatron. Okay, I gotta keep my item at least. That does a lot low, and hey, now that means they're, they're trapped into that. They can only click. Uh, I, I I got them both. Nice. Also, Hognosh's ability. If they make contact with me, there's a chance. I think it's like 30% chance that whatever they hit me with, they have to keep using. Okay, Len. Here, what's the um, what's the scariest thing on on this? Um, I kind of want to I want to click a bait again, but I outspeed them both, so. I feel like I would rather just like fiery fondant or go for the rejuvenate here. So I actually will go for the rejuvenate. Um, I think I would rather take out. Hmm, I could actually just earthquake, but I don't know if I'm gonna KO both of them. So I feel like I should just go for the savage greeds. Although I'm gonna lose my item, which what item do I have on Volklo? It's the ancient one, the ancient essence. I think no, no, no. Is that the ancient essence or is that earth? No, it is ancient. Okay, then. I guess we'll take out the Vesperato. I think Vesperato hits harder, so I'd rather just take that out first straight away. So I will do that. Just take it out straight away. See you later, boy. Um, actually, I am curious. Does Sweet Touch trap them to only go in for my Hoganosh? Or... No, they can go for whatever they want to okay. care. Because that, that would be like completely busted if Hoganosh could do that. But hey, I gotta go for another heal on my Hoganosh now. And because I've lost my item, Slapdown doesn't do as much now. So I can click Bait again, and my Volclaw... Honestly, can just go for Earthquake here, but probably not, 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 not here. Definitely not here. We're gonna go for the bait low. Just gonna bait them again. Uh, don't have a fire type move, unfortunately, so I can't really hit the the raccoon that hard. But we could go for another Brom boost and then just spam the heck out of Earthquake, which honestly doesn't sound like a bad idea. But I kind of want to get rid of that raccoon. That raccoon is a little uh, terrifying. Because uh, Slapdown is kind of annoying, but yeah, gonna do that, Savage Greed, oh, I actually, it doesn't KO it. Also, I got trapped into Savage Greed now, of course I do. Nice, Psycho Slap, oh, I live again, I live again, yes. Okay, this time, oh no, I can't click Earthquake, can I? Wait, let me just try something really quickly. Can I click Earthquake? Oh, that... No, the, sw the ability thieves completely screwed me over. I was going to click Earthquake this time, dodge on my Hoganosh, and then I can take both of them out, and I still have my Hoganosh, which would have been really, really nice. So that's that's really unfortunate. Okay, then. 
Here, um, let me think about this one. Let's just go for the, uh, would I rather, I think I'd rather bait again. So I'm gonna go for the bait again. I'm gonna Savage Grid the Ragoon, which means the Meditoad has to go for my Hoganosh again. And my Volklore gets to live for another turn. Oh, plus two, which is also a scary Folklore is at plus two, okay. Cycle Slap, yep, that's fine. And there we are. Bro, this is like pretty pretty easy if people aren't suspecting it, so I will gladly take it, okay. Okay, then, all on this one now? Hmm. I think I should go into the Wakalaka here, because I feel like my Volklore is most likely going to go down this turn. Um, actually, I guess we both of them still. Would I click, should I click Earthquake getting rid of the Meditoad, or should I try and just get rid of the Deladrix? I could actually muck past the Deladrix as well. Oh, actually, my Wakalaka's quad weak to, uh, to bug. <laughs> oh no, that's really, really bad then. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the, the Muck Blast. Oh wait, no, I can't even use Earthquake, I'm still trapped in the stupid's, stupid's Sweet Touch. That Ability Thief screwed me over so badly that he just, abil that he just stole it. Okay, I actually one-shot it, nice. That's actually really, really good then. I'm also, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got it super, super frail. Slap down on my... Oh, my Volk actually lived because he really slapped down my item! Yes! Although I'm out of, um, I'm out of energy, unfortunately. Okay, then. We'll go for the Bane of Haste here. I think is the is a good idea. And can I... Okay, I, I don't have any energy left, so... I guess we'll tr we'll try and go for a rest, although I'm probably just gonna die anyway. And plus, my Wacklock is most likely just gonna get hit by a slap down anyway. I actually clicks dodge. Interesting. Not too sure why, but hey, I'll take it. Cycle slap. Okay, no. Interesting. I feel like they should have gone for my Volcor with a salt chick. I guess I just didn't realize I had no energy. But now because uh, I got my uh, Bane of Haste off, I can go into my Himber and I can just click Yeti's Wrath and just take out the Meditoad. I could actually click Earthquake as well, but don't think it's really worth it, to be honest, so Nature's False to Assault you, and actually, is it worth it? Yeah, it's probably worth me just clicking Earthquake. My Wacklack is a plant, it should be able to tank it pretty well, even if it's, like, more offensive-oriented, and that should KO both of them, I think? Oh, the Mator just barely lives. Also, I, of course, I critical hit my, uh, my own teammates. Really, man? Really? Only got like enough energy for one more move. Slap down again. Sorry, Wakalaka, but you died. Definitely died. <laughs> and now my Himber can take out the Meditoad, which will be very nice. Do I have Quick Punch on this Himber? Mugan. So yeah, this actually, I mean, Hogan actually works pretty well. Works really, really well. I'm uh, just gonna go for the Frost Punch. And do I have Quick Punch? I don't on this one. Okay, I'm just gonna click Earthquake then. I'm pretty sure this is like a offensive Himber. It's been a while since I've actually used it because it is one of my old Himbers, I think. I'm gonna go over a new Himber with like, um, because since it has Ice Hammer now, I, I think I still have like Chili Chomp on mine. So yeah, I will go over like a lot of videos still, like Quick Punch Mutagon, uh, Arapaigo has like Dark Surge and Rejuvenate, and there was a lot of these that I gotta go over still. But anyway, for that, that went pretty well. I mean, that went really, really well. So there's the Hoganosh in double, uh, in, in doubles, I would say it is a lot better right now than it is in singles. Singles is like very limited. I mean, you might as well just use like any other fire type to be honest. I mean, Crackle is a better tank. Serenite does more damage. Ikazune does more damage. Volkaloa does more. I mean, I feel like it's just outclassed right now. Uh, like, it's not super bulky compared to like Crackle. I would say Crackle is bulk is better at being a, a tankier Lumion. It's not very good like offensive. Uh, because you've got like things like Volklo Ikazune and stuff like that. Um, it's not like good at being like a like a, a bulky offensive attacker. Because you've got Serenite, which can run, run terrifying, that has still more offensive stats. So, yeah, it's kind of like awkward for singles, but for doubles, looks pretty interesting for now. But anyway, go leave off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.